Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our legs. It's going to be the regular training which we have been doing so far. Nothing much to change. And also it's one of the areas which I need a lot more improvement in terms of my form, in terms of my execution of my reps. So I keep pushing myself to achieve as clean rep as possible as close to perfection as possible every time i perform any kind of any kind of compound movement when it comes to lower body exercises so starting off with the usual the dynamic stretching wherein i start with the greatest stretch five repetitions on each side followed by the bird dog pose which i have recently added to my dynamic stretching routine to you know emphasize a little bit more on my core strengthening before I start with my workouts helps me in terms of I would say engaging my core a little bit more during my workouts or at least consciously you know tightening my uh, core area using my glutes a lot lot more while moving weight in compound movements now post completing the bird pose again four to five repetitions on the each side i move on to the deep squat the mandatory de uh, sitting in the deep squat for a few seconds at least every day before the workout regardless of which body part you're working on great way to start off all of this just takes hardly four to five minutes and i think that's a good enough time to dedicate every workout now to start off with i started with bubble squats four sets 10 repetitions of working sets and two sets of warm up as you can see I was doing it with an empty bar and this time i placed a step up box under my legs to stop myself from going to a deep squat because i have realized that i have butt wing which i am not able to correct it very quickly or in immediate future so i decided to still go on with my squatting movements without causing much uh, i would say much of damage in terms of the butt wink you know lower uh, back pain stiffness because of this so yes i started training with this i can still notice a little bit of butt wink i know still working on it but i think by the time next time when i go squat i it should be far much more better the ankle mobility is not a problem the hip mobility is not a problem i think it's mostly my tighter hamstrings especially my left leg which causes this so yes that's there so we finish off with squats then we can move on to the regular machine based exercises that is the leg extension i do miss just diverging from this particular exercise explanation hack squat machine because i think a hack squat machine would be ideal if you have a lot of butt wing problem to still train a little bit of compound movement of squatting i think it's a great bit of help but unfortunately my gym does not have that equipment so yes i have to keep pushing myself on the squat on the barbell squats but yes coming back to this exercise leg extensions three sets 20 repetitions with a minute break in between to catch your breath now make sure you go really slow on the eccentric portion wherein your legs start coming back towards you slow down as much as possible to create that eccentric load on your quad muscles you can also finish off on a high by performing 5 to 10 length and partial repetitions that is the last 5 10 reps after completing your 20th rep or when you're about to hit failure do only half reps from bottom most region to the mid region not from the top most region as many repetitions as possible and that should give you an amazing amount of blood flow and pump in the targeted muscle Post that, move on to hamstring curls. Again, if you prefer to do lying hamstrings, go ahead and do it as long as your form is great. That particular equipment is not available with me. So I'm sticking to the hamstring curls or I usually do the RDLs. So hamstring curls is the easier part because I've already done a compound movement and I had enough fatigue. I was not very keen on doing stiff leg deadlifts or RDLs. So yes, hamstring curls for the win. Seated. Three sets, 20 repetitions, same pattern. When you're about to fail or after completing your 20 repetitions, do length and partial reps, wherein from top to mid range, perform as many repetitions as possible, getting a lot of blood flow into those hamstring muscles. It's an easy way to finish off. 
you can take a minute break i know by the end of the last exercise you must hit a greater levels of fatigue so you might need a little bit more rest that's absolutely fine never treat my rest timing as the most ideal or something to stick to or mandatory treat it as a guideline nothing more than 2 minutes of course because that would be too long of a break and would extend the timing of your workout quite long and that's it we're done with our workouts we're going to finish off with static stretching quads and then hamstrings i thank you so much for watching the video if you did like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe feedback is greatly appreciated in the comment section if someone has some tricks or tips to help me with my slight buttwing problem please do share but i am i i do follow a routine to try to correct it as much as possible work in progress but please go ahead and share your tips maybe i will incorporate them try to help myself and help others also because i'll be sharing the video if someone helps me with a great tip once again thank you so much for watching the video i hope you do have a great workout you did at least working along in this video make sure that if possible you also record yourself to check your form if you're working out alone if you have a partner let them watch your form let them watch your repetitions to help you as much as possible till then see you in the next video take care